All right, guys, so we have it unboxed. Sorry, the unboxing was kind of boring. You just basically take it out of the foam from the last video. Over there, I got all the extrude, uh, aluminum extrude. Got the threaded rod. Uh, this is the LCD power supply. That's uh, for the filament, everything like that. So we got all the bags, uh, motors, electronics, two filaments, the heat bed, and we are going to go buy the book. So let's try it. All right, according to step one, we're going to need A9 first. But before we do that, you're going to want to try and look for B64 because this is going to have all your tools. So we obviously need those. We have all these here. The only thing I think I'll need out of this is this because I don't want to go out and go grab my wrenches. But I have all these different Allen wrenches. Um, another alternative is to buy these two sets. You can find them at Lowe's. They're like $4 each. Um, you got metric and standard and then this was another five dollars I think it was like a uh, 490 something it's like a little screwdriver with an extension has a bunch of different bits so that might come in handy cool so let's dig into the a9 and get started okay cool so if you see in the video here um, it's hard to tell but on this one here on this sheet it shows the two holes with the square so it's actually going to go this way. And then um, the bolts basically go through this side. So we'll follow that diagram. But we're going to take off these papers first. Okay, that's more of a pain than I thought it would be. So let's get started. So it just shows the standard bolt going through here. Two spring washers. Spring gaskets as they call them here. A nylon washer and it goes up this way with a bolt. So if you see right here we're actually trying to get the spring washer to go flat but we're also making sure that the wheel can turn freely and that there's no wobbles. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this again to the next wheel. Okay, so we're gonna do another one, just um, bolt, bearing, two spring washers on the inside and the nylon, put it straight through and put this right here. So if these give us any problems later on, we're gonna probably put some Loctite on here, just some temporary blue stuff. Perfect. Feels smooth. Alright, let's do the last ones. So there is a mod um, where you take these bearings out, put a spring washer in there, and then um, let them turn. I could see how it would make it work, just like a skateboard bearing, there's a little spacer in there, but the spring washer I think is actually a little bit wider than the actual um, little ring right here on the inside of the bearing and that's what the spacer is supposed to be riding on so I think that these little uh, locks right here are actually grabbing against the inside of those bearings and I don't, I don't want to try that if, uh, if I do try it later on and it feels like there's an improvement I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that but for now I'm not going to so okay on this one we're doing bolt bearing spring washer eccentric nut and we're gonna go ahead and put that through here See here, the spring washer under there is, uh, isn't compressed yet, so all I'm doing is kind of holding it with my hand because I don't have a wrench that small. I don't know if they include it or not. I didn't really check the other bags until it's about there where it's flat. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then the bearing spins, spins perfectly freely, um, which is awesome. And if you want these bearings to spin a little bit smoother, uh, I was going to recommend using uh, a stuff called CRC heavy duty silicone. I use it a lot for my Rubik's cubes and that stuff's amazing. I'm sure it would help wonders with this type of build. So I'm gonna do that till the spring washer goes flat, just enough for it to to lock, but leave it pretty free. Nice, feels nice. Alright, cool. Let's move on to the next step. Alright, so the next one that we have is B61. We're going to be basically installing the extruder, the hot end, and all that kind of stuff. So you need um, the B61 bag, which is boom, which includes all the hardware and I believe the fan, so that's good. 
and then it doesn't show say it or in the photo or anything but you do need the little hot end right there with the, the heat sink so that's going to be on there too like that like this actually so here we go that is a tiny fan oh my god okay, i'm going to want to match those wires so i'm going to put the wires in the bottom so the longer screws are going to be the ones that go through the fan. Um, for those of you who don't know, they don't go on this side. That's not a mismatched um, thread. I think that's just a whole different thing in, in general. If you look in here, if you see in here, you can see little threads right here, 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 and here. Um, that's what the screws are threading into. So the fan actually goes on this side. And then for the fan, you want the label facing inward. So. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the first screw. We're gonna start all of these loose by hand. Let's see if I can mess everything up. What I was surprised about when I first saw this nozzle is how freaking small it is. That's ridiculous. It's crazy to me. Okay. So, check through your tools, find the one that fits. It's pretty easy to spot them by eye. Uh, you don't need them any tighter than slightly snug and you'll see this little gap right here basically close up I'll go ahead and go into the star pattern here boom done okay so this part here it's gonna go through this way I'm gonna try and line up these holes it's kind of hard to see them no light let's see it's too short okay so these ones have to be it and again I'm starting them by hand you never want to just go at it with your tool because then you might strip them, especially parts this small. So we have four extra bolts here. I'm not sure what those are for yet, but I'm going to save them. Okay, so I'm just going to start these until they're all kind of snug. That way I can kind of adjust it make sure it's square. Nice, these threads feel pretty good. Okay, so we're getting to the point where the gaps where the light's not showing through, so we're not going to go past that. Put them down very lightly. You want to take your time here. You don't want to like strip anything, and you don't need to. You don't need to tighten these so far down that you're putting stress on the acrylic here, where you can create cracks and breaks. All right, as far as everything else, I think we are good. Just snug them until you can. Perfect. There you go. So we're done with that first step. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back into B61 because. Based off the photo, they're not needed yet, so set those aside. Next step, 